Hi everyone, this is Little Surprises YT or Amy and two weeks ago I showed you my first set of matchables. Last week I had my first ever timed restock on Etsy for these matchables and now I have my official second restock pending. Um, it's going to be live today, March 6th at 3 p.m. I'm going to try to edit this on time but it might not be on time. Um, but I wanted to make a video of all the matchables that I made on Friday and Saturday, March four and five to restock for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to go through each and every one of these. A lot of these were suggested on Instagram, um, like the Takoyakis, and I think some wanted some Galaxy, so I had those going on, and the Oreo. So I'm gonna go through them each one by one. These are all already on my Etsy, again, 3 p.m., uh, and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So I'm gonna get started. So first I have some Oreo Meowchables, and this is what they look like and these are huge um, if you guys know where I can get smaller Oreo molds like really tiny Oreo molds let me know or just other cookie molds because I mean I love big matchables don't get me wrong but I also want to try to make little ones for like bracelets and this would just be too big for a bracelet then last week I made some strawberry matchables and they were a big hit I only made one last week so I made a few more. Um, one of these, the small ones will be listed and one large one will be listed and they're huge, I'm telling you guys. So there's that. Then I have some galaxy ones. So here is a galaxy star on a Meowchable and a earth star on a Meowchable. And I made these stars a really long time ago. I wanna say back in like October, so that was like five months ago. And this is what they look like. I have two of each design. And they're really, really adorable. If you want a necklace chain, just message me before checking out. And that's what those look like. They're super tiny and perfect for bracelet sizes. So definitely looking forward to making some more like these. Then, in addition to my Galaxy ones, I made some Galaxy stands. These are magnetic. And the matchable sits on them, as you can see. And. Um, I am going to give the option of purchasing a necklace chain with this so that you can wear your matchable and then when you come home you can just put it back on the base. I have a heart stand one as well and that's what that looks like and these are kind of like pastel galaxies if you haven't noticed. They kind of reminded me of cotton candy but other people on Instagram have told me they remind them of pastel galaxies. And the last magnetic stand that I have is this one. This one is actually my favorite. And that's what the design looks like and this is a like citron citron I'm not sure what it is called but it's a female color and it's a quartz color and it's super shiny a lot shinier in person because my camera's not picking it up as well but that's what that looks like oh and before I move on um, I have a boo and Sully couch tutorial to show you how to make these magnetic kind of pieces. Um, I have the boo sitting on the Sully couch magnetically, but I also know that Leanne from The Crafty Little Ninja, she also made some magnetic stands for Pokemon and I'm excited to try that myself. I just haven't gotten a chance to do that yet, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Leanne. Last week I also made a PB&J matchable and this one is a custom. I remade one of these, but then I also made two more sandwiches, but they are ham and lettuce and mayonnaise. So that's what that looks like. And I really like this because look how shiny the clay is. Then I remade a few of these um, like cotton candy pastelish matchables that you see here. I also made the Sakura one, and I also remade the Ice Quartz one. But these are special because what I'm going to do with them is, um, these colors reminded me a lot of the colors my professor used to use in college when explaining DNA and nucleotides to me. So I wanted to make it kind of science-y, so these are coming on necklaces. So each of these four that you see before you, they are gonna come on this 22 inch necklace chain like so with a little DNA charm. And I only have a limited amount of these, so uh, we'll see how that turns out. But here's the DNA charm, super pretty. And it's really great for like sciencey people or people who are interested in the medical field and research, like myself. And so, yeah, that's going to be on the website as well. 
And I also have a glow in the dark one and um, I have a picture of it glowing so I will include that in the video and there is the DNA charm as well. And this one is huge so this is a lot bigger. This is the bigger one out of the other ones that will have DNA charms. So the last two creations or last two styles are both food and I have a giant takoyaki here and I decorated the top with fake herbs and I have a lot of that so if you guys um, I used to sell this on my store envy but my store envy is currently closed so if you guys want some fake herbs let me know and I can probably add it onto my shop so it looks like I'm really proud of this piece and I also shaded in some gold for the takoyaki effect um, and then I made two more smaller ones so that's what the smaller ones look like let me know what you guys think of my decorative skills for these takoyakis and just so you can see the size comparison this is sorry about the wobbly tripod the size comparison and last but not least I have some pasta and I love pasta I don't know if you guys know that but I made these matchables on stands and they are removable so this is what the pasta bowl looks like and some of the herbs may fall off but the majority of them will stay on and I really like how the spaghetti looks so here is a close-up and then I put some sauce on the miachi bowl so this is supposed to be a spaghetti and miachi bowl or a meatball so I thought it was really really fitting it's really cute and it kind of reminds me of Christmas right now for some reason but the top also has herbs and I made two more smaller ones so I also gave a choice on my Etsy where if you want to add a necklace chain you can so that you can wear your little matchable and then when you come home just put it back on the little stand and that's what that looks like so this is the size comparison let me just adjust that and just to show you the small one removable a much smaller plate and one more this one you can see the spaghetti a lot better then you put it back like this and it's stable thank you guys so much for watching this update and I just want to let you guys know my tripod is broken so you see the wobbly motion yeah that's not supposed to happen so what I'm going to do is I am ordering a new tripod. I know I haven't uploaded a lot of videos. I'm really trying, but it's just tutorials during the weekdays. It doesn't, making videos during the weekdays, it just doesn't really happen anymore. I only craft on the weekends now, which a day or two for me, it just really isn't enough. Um, but I really tried. So here are the 26 creations that I made for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what else you want me to make, matchable related or not matchable related, because I really want to just get my creative juices running again so thank you guys so much again for watching oh and yes troubles i'm still working on a few troubles just haven't really thought of anything just yet so let me know what suggestions you have for those as well bye